All right, students and staff are heading back to campus at UCLA today as the fall quarter gets underway. And CBS 2's Kyra Finchton is live this morning with a look at what will be different amid COVID concerns. Kyra, good morning to you and welcome back to campus. <laughs> exactly. The big return comes as UCLA DeMarco also celebrates being named the nation's number one public university for the fifth year in a row. So check it out. A lot of excitement and pride. Cheerleaders and Bruin mascots were on hand as students started making their way back. The big change this year, all students and staff need to be vaccinated and to provide proof with very limited exemptions allowed. Also required masking indoors in classrooms and other common areas and students will need to take daily monitoring surveys for possible symptoms. The Delta variant has caused worries about breakthrough infections on campuses, so an infectious disease expert addressed that during a recent UCLA webinar saying all the safeguards in place really reduce risk. But if you roll the dice, if you're vaccinated, you have about a one in 5,000 chance per day of getting infected. If you take precautions or you live in a highly vaccinated community, it's one in 10,000. It's one in 13,000 of getting really sick. And 70% of breakthroughs, 80% of deaths occur in the elderly population. UCLA also just added two new residence halls. That brings the university closer to fulfilling its promise of guaranteeing four years of housing to all first-year students and two years to all transfer students. It hopes to do that soon. And while regular COVID testing no longer is required unless you've got one of those vaccination exemptions, free tests are available in all residence halls for any student who wants one. And back here live to Marco, those are also available in vending machines on campus. They really want to make those accessible. That's good to know. Before you go, are virtual classes and virtual instruction still available? So most classes are going to be done in person at this point. The uh, university really stressing that they have made a move towards that, what they call substantial in-person learning. 80% of classes in person right now. Uh, those really big lectures, though, those are going to continue to be done virtually, uh, but they will have some breakout sessions, smaller ones, so that people can discuss those in person. I prefer the big lectures while I'm still in bed, so I kind of like that idea right there. All right, Cara, <laughs> thank you very much. Cara Finchstrom live on the campus of UC. CLA.